the North Texas Honda dealers, and they want to help you score some great deals on award-winning Honda. Stop by your helpful Honda dealer today or visit ntxhondadealers.com for more information. Thank you, Pickle. It's Mailbag Friday. If you've got questions about high school football, college football and recruiting, lifestyle, romance, travel, Hawaiian shirts, all sorts of stuff, uh, you can get to it. Uh, you can get in the Facebook comments. Uh, Twitch comments, YouTube comments, or you can text us. 972-532-6665 is where you can text us on the TFT text line. Um, so, yeah, if you've got questions, you can fire away. Uh, but first, Pickle, yeah. um, let's do something. Uh, it, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's a very special edition of Mailbag Friday. Hello? Hello? Hi, Mom. Hi. How are you? You're so great. You're so sweet to call me. I'm actually going to the lake, and I was listening to the show. Oh, there we so go. There you go. <laughs> uh, we're joined by my mom. Hi, mom. Hi. Um, Hi, everybody. Pickles here How too. You doing? Yeah, we're good. Hello, Tep Mom. Um, <laughs> uh, Hi. I hope to meet you one day. Uh, yes. I wanted to call and say Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much, Gregory. Since that's on Sunday. <laughs> Um, and so we've got you, uh, we, we, we want to bring you on and, and I wanted to, you know, ask you a few different questions. First and foremost, um, do you have like, you have three boys. Um, yeah. do you have a favorite mother's day? Like from us growing up? From us? Well, I have to admit, I don't remember. I remember everyone is, you guys are always so sweet. You would buy individual gifts that maybe sometimes your dad had part of, mm-hmm. and I'd always have flowers. But I will say one of the most special ones was three years ago when you let us know that you guys, you and Jim, were going to have a baby. Oh yeah, going to be grandparents. Yes. That was really one of the most special ones ever. Well, and so, and now you're a you're a you're a grandma times two. Uh, I know. You've got you've got Hank and you've got Sadie. Um, Hank and Sadie. Do you have a preference on being a mom versus being a grandma? <laughs> I like them both. They're, uh, they're awesome. <laughs> what, a, what a politically correct answer. I do. Seriously. When you think back, I mean, I love being a, I have to admit, I love being a mom of boys. I have to say that. I don't know if I would have been a good girl mom, but I love having a grandma. Okay, well that's good. Um, yeah. And and so one thing I always remember growing up is that we would always you would always have flowers around. Like Dad would always have flowers for Definitely. you. Definitely. Yes. And and that did that spark because of uh, because of Grandma? Yes. Yes, because your grandma was a florist. Ah, yeah. There exactly. We go. Okay. I know. So so that's one great hint that Dad took. You know, he when he was in. A little bit of trouble, maybe. Mm. Go, pick, go, buy, go buy the grocery store and pick up some flowers. So. Well, wise like, words. It was never that's, that's been passed <laughs> down to, to me as well. Uh, well, Mom, we just wanted to call and say Happy Mother's Aww. Day. Happy Mother's Thanks. Day, Mama Tup. Thanks, Ashley. Uh, and uh, so you're, you're, are you going to the lake? I'm going to the lake, yeah. It's kind of a long story. I'll tell you later, but, yeah, I'm going down to the lake. Okay. Um, I'm on 287 right okay. now. So. Great. Uh, Mom, thanks for picking up your phone. Uh, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, you're, okay, thank you so much. And be careful driving tomorrow. I will. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, uh, guys. Bye. 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 I love you, too. There she goes. My mom. The uh, sweetest. <laughs> joining us for Mother's Day. Um, and I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know. It would have worked better if she'd answered the phone. Call, but that's, that's okay. She was pro- if she's driving, then that's probably a good yeah, example. Yeah, you know. Uh, she's, she's being responsible. But, yes, um, there you go. Wanted to make sure we, uh, we shouted out all the moms out there. And one other thing, and I meant to bring this up this week, and I, I, I'm going to – we've got, like, you know what, five minutes left in the, in the broadcast week. I'm finally going to bring it up. <laughs> Happy Teacher Appreciation Week yes. to the teachers out there. Teacher Appreciation Week, and yesterday was National Nurses Day. Golly. Like, oh. wow. We're missing. We're, 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 say, we're off our a, game. I was going to say, that's, that's an some, oversight. Yeah. It's a plain old oversight. That's some pretty big, like, women week right there. Well, and I'm. Stereotypically speaking. I'm a, um, 
I'm the husband of a teacher. I'm the uh, son of a teacher. My my mom was an educator. You're the daughter of a teacher. Yes, both um, my parents work in so education. So we've got we've got a great appreciation for teachers. And mm-hmm. then of course, obviously, we deal in high school football, mm-hmm. and high school football coaches are teachers. teachers. Mm-hmm. So a very happy teacher appreciation week to all the teachers out there. Uh, you guys are uh, awesome, and you're not paid enough. And uh, you don't get enough respect. No, and, not uh, at all. <laughs> and yeah, and we are here to say our part. So of here's thank you. our internet show. show. To say thanks. <laughs> that makes up for it, right? Uh, anyway, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, all right. Do we have any other questions? Uh, yes, one of them. Uh, Trish is at work right now, and she works at an elementary school, so she's got little minions running yeah. around everywhere. So that's why we're not calling Trish right yeah, now. Yeah, I asked her. Um, I asked I when I walked in the studio today, I said, "What's your mom doing?" Right yeah. Now? <laughs> Which uh, you know, that also means Trish is off during the summer. So maybe at some point mm-hmm. we can we can give Trish a code cold What's your birthday? call uh in February. Yeah. So, um but okay. no, we'll we'll hit Trish with we'll a cold we'll call at her, some yeah. point. Yeah. LP I know is watching right now. Don't don't tell yeah. Trish. Um yes. Um let's see. You got it. Favorite scrambled eggs ingredient addition. What do you like to put? Avocado toast. I think I'm going to have it for dinner. I was already thinking about this. Okay. Um, I like to have, well, I guess what he's thinking is like, what do you, or what the question is really like, what do you add to, to, to yeah. scrambled eggs? Um, first of all, I just want to say, and this is, this is a weird flex. Uh huh. I think I'm super good at making scrambled eggs. Ooh, okay. And that's not, that's a good flex. That's not easy to do. I think I'm good. Eggs I, in general are, n- are underratedly hard. The key the key mm-hmm. is you got to you got to when they're cooking you got to whip it mm-hmm. you got to go at it and mm-hmm. you got you really cuz cuz then they get I like them to be a little bit runny. I hate yes. dry eggs. Yes. I'd rather they be a little bit runny. Milk. You got to add milk in it beforehand. Yeah, you can add a, some milk. A little dash of milk beforehand. Makes it a little fluffier. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, so milk, obviously cheese would be great. If you've ever added um Anything but everything but the bagel seasoning to it. Mm-hmm. It's really good as well. Super good. Uh, I think I'm gonna make avocado toast tonight for dinner. Very I'm nice. I also, uh, I also obviously like if you're talking about additions to like put on top of eggs, salsa. You you yeah, can't oh, go wrong with salsa on hot scrambled sauce, eggs. Yep. Stuff like that. Yeah. I mean the great the the great thing about living in in the state of Texas is that because we have such an incredible culture. Um, here like with uh, with with mexican influences and latin influences and things like that that like you can find eggs like you can find great breakfast tacos mm-hmm. a lot of places yep and so yes that's very very good oh hatch green chilies coming yeah. in from matt step well that's, that's another thing he's big green chili guy that's what he is uh that's one thing that i think is is we we should not take for granted living in the state of texas is like okay the reason i bring this up mm-hmm it, the fact that we have great, and great accessible and f- in many cases fast Mexican food, yes, Tex-Mex food is incredible. And the reason I bring this up, did you see this? Did you hear about this, Kev? Did you see <laughs> the thing earlier this week in Orlando of the White Castle that opened? No. So they opened up a White Castle in Orlando, yeah, and like there the was like burgers. a four-hour line for the drive-through Why? to go to White Castle. Like I'm not saying they're bad, but they're like little sliders. But I just imagine that, like in certain parts of the of America, mm-hmm. and maybe it's because it doesn't have the same reach. But like some of the some of the places that we take for granted here, like from a from a Mexican food perspective, yeah. If they were to open them up in other it parts, would be like, the like there'd be a lot. It would be the greatest thing ever. Like, like my yeah. my cousins, for example, my cousins who live in Iowa, mm-hmm. like their Mexican food is Taco Bell. Yeah. So like even an on the border or like yes. a Chewy's that like isn't like you're like we can go out down the street we and find get authentic super street taco. Good, yes, really, really good know. Mexican food. And that's in suburbia, Texas. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, hard, it's like you know, you're going to find the hut. We're anywhere. not even talking about like the very best places in San Antonio or Houston right. or, or, or El Paso or things like that. Um, you know, you're talking about that kind of or the Rio Grande Valley, obviously, mm-hmm. but that is, um, that's one thing that I think is like, we should not take for granted is the amount of great breakfast tacos that are available to you at pretty much every turn here in the yes. state of Texas. All right. What's next? So true. Um, here's a football question. Yeah. Any notable high school transfers from one program to another that will make a big impact? Uh huh. Oh, you want me to list them? Yes. So the biggest one that springs to mind is Bear Alexander. Yes. Bear Alexander, uh, I think his first name's like Keithian. 
We don't know. Nobody calls him that. No. His name is Bear. <laughs> His name is Bear. He's the defensive tackle from um, d- formerly at Denton Ryan. Well, I was going to say from. Is helped a- <laughs> lead Ryan to a uh, state championship last year. He has transferred to over to Fort Worth Brewer, White Settlement Brewer, um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that would be one that I uh, that that really mm-hmm. springs to mind. Other ones in the DFW Metroplex. I got a list. Uh, down on the um, in in um, in kind of South Dallas, uh, Faison Wilson mm-hmm. is uh, is leaving Lancaster, going to Duncanville, a uh, big time wide receiver there. Stephen Johnson. Stephon Johnson, yeah. yeah or Stephon. And Lee. then of course there was Caleb Burton. Mm-hmm. Uh, Caleb Burton, the wide receiver from um, formerly of Austin Del Valley, he was injured a lot last year. He's transferring to Lake Travis. He becomes a bona fide stud number one receiver for the Cavs, and then. Um, and then one thing to keep an eye on is Jacoby Robinson. Jacoby Robinson mm-hmm. is moving from Crowley to Henderson. That's another one. That another I'm one. Uh, step through this one out there to uh, Chris. Is it Bazell from Midland Christian to Midland, mm-hmm. Midland Legacy? So there's one out west. Yeah. yeah, there's there's quite a few out there. Um, and then the other th- another thing to keep an eye on um, is there's going to be some transfers from, from some private schools to some public schools. Uh, specifically, like uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Trinity Christian Cedar Hill shutting down. And so uh, they, they obviously have some huge. playmakers. <laughs> and so that's going to be um, – so that's going to move on to uh, – they'll, they'll move on to and scatter to the to the winds. Uh, so that's one thing to keep an eye on there. So a few different transfers to keep an eye on. Do we have one more? Do we have an ender? We do. Can we do two more real we fast? Two more. This one's super quick. Ketchup on fries or ketchup on the side? Ketchup on the side. What kind of monster pours fries – gets on your fingers – heathens cretins okay so that one, that one i completely agree um and then the by the way i'm sorry go There's off another thing and this was Let the big euro it. thing mm-hmm. you know like like over in europe they'll dip the fries in the mayo mm-hmm. Ugh. i like mayonnaise i'm not like an anti-mayonnaise guy mm-hmm. Ugh. i had to i studied abroad over there and i had to hunt down ranch Ranch yeah. does not, and I finally found it the last week we were there in this little grocery store type thing, because their grocery stores are not like our grocery stores at no. all. They're little bitty. It looks more like a convenience store, and it was called American Ranch Sauce. Gun to, gun to your head. Gun to your head. Yeah. You have a thing of fries. Yeah. Good thing of fries, right? Yeah. You can only have ketchup or you can only have ranch. Fries, I'm going ketchup. Okay. Because ketchup is consistent. Okay. Across the board. It's really – bad ranch is is not worth it. I agree. So, yeah. Uh, finally pick Finally. One. Josh Chapa said, tall boy Friday or Hawaiian shirt Friday? Which one has a stronger presence? Mm. I would say nationally, both. for me, I mean, por que no los dos? Yeah. So I have one if ah. you could have both. <laughs> um, I agree. But I would say nationally known – I would agree that probably Tall Boy Friday. Well, at least in the state of Texas, I would say Tall Boy Friday probably is more widely known. I would say so. But uh, but but here we here at Dave Campbell's Texas Football are doing our darndest to make sure that Hawaiian Shirt Friday ends up on the same pedestal as Tall Boy Friday. We don't do enough drinking on the show. <laughs> I, I I don't see why that's not a normal we Friday gotta, thing. I have the, the beer f- cart Friday. The friend the friend I went to um, There's a lack of fun in this office. The friend I went to coffee with this morning. Uh she works in a um like a marketing agency. Uh-huh. And and all these marketing agencies have like they're all super hip and they have like beanbags everywhere and blah blah blah, you know what I mean? And she she will she told me and this was pre-pandemic, mm-hmm. but like every day they're just going around with booze. Every day they're going around with booze. You know we are so sober here in this office. <laughs> the <laughs> worst. I hate it. You know how much the morale would boost with just, you know, a simple beer every now and then. I know. Beer Beer Fridays. Come on. I'm in a Hawaiian shirts for darn sake. I'm a big fat party animal. And you know what? There's a lack of beer. It's going to do it for us. Thanks for spending a little bit of your day with us.